All right, my new Weber Summit is here. We just got it in. On the rebuild of the house, I'm, I complimented myself with this. Um, it's been a, a long time saving uh, for this grill because I do so much grilling. I grill every day. That's how I basically, if I could, if I, that's how I eat basically. So I'm grilling every day. So I wanted something that could do a little bit more and I wanted a smoker. So I was kind of tossed and I didn't want to spend the money on this, but I did. I splurged and this is a gift that I've always wanted. I love grilling and I cannot wait to set this up. So thank you so much, you guys out there uh, for helping me decide on this grill. Uh, I was hoping that the pricing would come down, but it didn't. Um, the guys were pretty good to me in here in Portland, Oregon. I paid a little bit more. I paid $1,400 even for this, even. And with that came a wok, a cover, a rib, rib divider, What else came with it? And something else. Uh, a 50 gallon, a 50 gallon extension hose. Because my tanks here are 50 gallons. Because I'm so far away in the bush. Everything that I buy, basically, it's it's about survival, safety. And because I live so far away. And that's my mindset anyway. But anyway, this grill, it's a charcoal grill, it's not gas. It has a gas ignition. That's why I have a 50 gallon um, tank for my regular grilling. And I can always attach those tanks, those 50 gallon tanks to this if I need it. But in case of an emergency, I can always burn charcoal or charred wood in this to start a fire, to eat basically. And it's double hulled. And that's the really important part of this grill, is a double hull. I could, being that I'm in a cooler environment, this holds in the heat a lot more, and the charcoals burn more efficiently, versus a regular grill. Again, you know, we have four seasons here, and we do get very cold, and I grill every, almost every day of the year. Dead of winter, snow, I'm always grilling. So that's another reason why I've gotten this. The double hull. Alright, so here I go. Woohoo! Gonna set her up. Oh by the way, I already seasoned some ribs at about 10 at 10 a.m. this morning, so they're in the refrigerator. I just did one rack since it's just me. But I wanted to do it to see what's you know. So tomorrow, ribs. Okay, so packaging within the box. Main bars for the wheels and triangle piece and the grills underneath there. So, all right, just want to show you what the packaging is like. You know, also, the reason why I'm doing this in the house, because right now it's 27 degrees outside, and we're in January, we're in winter, and I don't want to do this outside. So, here, right, here, we, here we are. All right. I like these holes here. These holes are uh, what I've discovered. Weber's smart idea. These are control. These brackets here help really fine tune the air intake versus just having the wide ones. The wide ones are great, but this helps you really fine tune it. So these little L's, so that's great. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so what I'm doing now, I'm looking for micro abrasions. I'm looking for any area that is 
rusted out or that has rusts on it, looking at the underneath of the grill to make sure that there's no anomalies. If so, I'll have to return it to Weber because I paid so much money for this grill, I don't want any kind of discrepancies because when I start grilling, I'm also pretty meticulous on how I keep the grill cleaned uh, when I'm cooking. It's just part of the job of cooking. You gotta check your equipment and make sure that everything is perfect. Pretty much so, so your next cook would be, would go smooth. I'm not anal about it. I just wanna make sure that there's no, this porcelain coating here. I don't want to make sure that there's no scratches on it, no places that they didn't spray. Okay, and everything looks good. Like I said, the, the packaging is pretty, it's pretty nice, it's beautiful. They really did a good job packaging this, uh, this grill. This is great here. Uh, Weber has really done, again, their, their homework. Uh, my culture, my mom's from India, and um, my dad is black Asian. And, but in the Caribbean, where I'm from, we do a lot of cooking, as you are all aware. of friend had in Tobago, we, you know, we love cooking. And, Having a heavy-duty grate where your fire can sit on, extremely, extremely important if you're grilling outside. And to see this come with the grill, not just a regular, um, a little bit wider, but a, a thinner gauge material than this. It's really a welcome sight. Um, and again, this gauge, this gave me another level of credibility when I watched the reviews of the, you know, the build quality of this machine, of this grill. Again, it's very simple, but uh, the execution has been well thought out. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. This feels like very good quality, very high gauged steel, and. Um, Stainless steel. Stainless steel? Can I say that? Or is this just steel? This has to be some kind of uh, some kind of combination of steel and some other alloy because I don't think this is going to rust at all. Uh, and also the um, the outside ring that it sits on. The wells look beautiful on this. Yeah, the well looks really good. And so this sits in the center, and what this does, this, this grate here telescopes. It goes from down and up. So it basically it raises and lowers the charcoals for different types of grilling. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited about that. So, cool. This is Weber's grill top. I wish this grate had a build quality like that lower unit that cradles the charcoal. That would make this device invincible. Um, but this looks like a very heavy duty grate very solidly built compared to the regular grills, thin, thinner gauge grills you see on, on see on the other older Weber's, but this gauge seems pretty good. This brings me, this brings me back memories from my childhood when I was living in New York City, 
once in a while, every summer, we'd go, we'd go to our cousins in Maryland, uh, Dirk, Kirk, Patrice, and Josette, and my extended family, and we would just, uh, we would have fun, you know, we'd go, we'd go and get some crabs, Montauk, not Montauk, but in, uh, on the coast, and bring it back home, and I don't eat seafood, because I'm allergic to seafood, but we'll always, you know, we'll have grills, and charcoal grills, and again, on a Weber, and uh, those were fun times, so, gosh, this brings back so much memories of that, those beautiful times. Back living on the east coast of New York City. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and take off these clips now. Okay, gang, this is what comes in the packaging of the Weber Summit. Again, we're doing this inside because outside right now it's 27 degrees. Actually, it just went up to 29 degrees. So all these are the items that come in the unit except the wok. The wok is what I got with the package deal. And there's the wok. So, yeah. And here we are. These are the items. And, of course, here's the top. And the base. So I did a mod already. This is the uh, the clip that goes onto the side of the unit, which houses your implements. You know, you can hang uh, your claws there, your gloves there, whatever there. Well, this unit was really bothering me, so I said, you know what, Kurt, I'm not going to have, I'm not going to do this again because once I start grilling, I don't want to be bothered with anything. So I put some felt down inside the crevice here. So this way, as it sits on the rack, on the main ring, it doesn't rub. That's what it looks like on the inside. You can see that. Okay, gang, I just finished attaching the bowl to the actual frame structure. I've also uh, attached the this mechanism, the lid, the lid housing, not the housing, but the lid bracket. I placed it, it's already intact, three bolts are in. Um, so now all we have to do is attach the lid then the unit should be completed. Um, it's been a very, very simple build so far. So, um, yeah. 
The unit, the unit weighs about 144 pounds totally when everything is all said and done. So that's how heavy the unit is for those of you who are speculating on how heavy is this? Well, it's 144 pounds uh, with everything included, the grate, the, the lid, everything. Uh, right now it's about a hundred pounds, so, but anyway, let's go ahead and finish everything else and I'll report back. So, okay, I'm just gonna fasten the four last bolts to the unit, and the unit should be complete. And I'll bring you back to that, okay? Do not remove this bolt, there's two of them, one on this side and one on the other side. They're safety bolts, don't remove them until you have the lid attached. Now that the lid is attached, go back to your owner's manual and read exactly what the owner's manual says about once the lid is attached, as we have done, what's next. Okay? So, I'll see you on the next part of the video. The safety bolts are removed. So now the lid can be opened. There's two of these. They say to chuck these in the garbage, but you know, good old guys like us, we keep these for something. These are actually breakaway bolts. So I can use this for probably something on the farm. Um, so I'll go ahead and keep them. But for those of you who probably don't have a need for this, for this you can just throw this away. And, um, and that's it. So. All right, guys. Let's take a look at what it takes, what it looks like on the inside. Now that everything is put apart, placed in its coordinated places, and let's take a look. Well, that's what it looks like, everyone. All right, so this is what she looks like, everyone. Well, she went pretty smooth. Nothing crazy happened. Um, the build went pretty straightforward. And... Yeah. This up here is the, um, is the gauge for the t uh, temperature. Alright everyone, so this is it, the finished grill. Everything is together. 
Everything is, I washed the top grill already, getting it prepared for tomorrow's grill. And everything looks beautiful. It's a very tight looking kit. It really is a nice looking unit. So, are you pleased with how everything looks so far? Would I do it again? Yes, I would. In an, in an instant. One's got to eat. <laughs> And this unit is going to prove, um, prove itself. Okay, so. I'll see you all in the morning, okay? Oh, no! Well, got to barbecue anytime. I like the profile a lot. Very small, very compact. As you can see, we maneuvered her quite nicely without any problem whatsoever. I'm very happy with that.